chances are if you don't already follow me you've stumbled onto this video because you're curious about carrying a pistol well that's what we're talking about today different holsters and setups bare bones basic stuff not tactical shooting not world war three so we're just going to talk about a few holsters some ideas and some placements so as you can see here i have a kydex holster right here on the side that holds my pistol just fine locks it in there it's nice and safe get my clothes out of the way and i have that here's an extra one for you to look at from the side so you can get these with paddles on them or flat pieces that go here to make it more comfortable you can get paddles on the sides that can hold extra magazines there's all kinds of things you can do with this what are these holsters good for well they're good for exactly what you see right here i'm out in the woods I do have it concealed in case somebody else rolls up, but of course, if you're looking hard enough, you'll notice something there. I'm not in a hurry to draw, but I can draw if I have to. And let's say I get out and I'm walking on foot and I might be worried about what might be out there. Well, I can just open it up, put my shirt on the inside, and I've got a gun right there on my hip. On the side is very comfortable for me in an open or less than concealed situation that is extremely comfortable and you can also place this anywhere on your hips you can rotate it a lot of people refer to it in the clock positions right now i'm at three o'clock not very important to remember that i just call it the freaking side like i said basic video if i'm sitting on my quad i can move this a little bit to the front so it's right in front of me if i'm sitting in a car and the seat belt might be in the way i might actually rotate the belt and get it back there behind me a little bit but who's wearing seat belts out here in the mountains anyway all right so your next option is what people might call inside the waist belt or appendix carry now this is a standard leather holster from k tactical now i know all the gun gurus down there are going to start yelling about a leather holster but let me show you something i have reviewed this holster they do have kydex inside the waist belt holsters but for me personally that is extremely uncomfortable i have not been able to find a way to make a kydex one comfortable for me if you want a kydex for appendix carry inside the waist belt do your research look around play with stuff give them a try well actually the most important concept is that the dang thing is comfortable enough so that you will actually carry your freaking firearm that's the big thing here we got to get you carrying and the number one reason people don't like leather holsters is because they have junk clips this one has an excellent hardcore heavy duty clip that when i go to pull this gun out of the holster the whole holster is not going to come with it every single time now as far as appendix carry goes that freaks a lot of people out but let me tell you guys something it's just like with anything else especially when we're talking about firearms it all comes down to dry fires rehearsals and training if you are worried about appendix carry, it's probably because you're new to it. You've never done it. So you probably shouldn't try it with a loaded gun the first time going downtown with it on. You might want to try it around the house with the gun unloaded first and get used to it. So I've slid that down. The holster's not coming up because this clip is great and I have a nice rigid belt for it to rest on. That's another thing with these holsters. A soft, wimpy belt is going to bend and fold and allow the holster to come right out rigid belt tough strong clip it's not coming out i have my belt a lot looser than usual so i can comfortably get that loaded gun down in there watch it all the way in we're not shooting ourselves if you feel uncomfortable you can always angle that out while you get it in there now this is where you have fun with placement so now i'm going to tighten my belt for most guys you've got that crest right there between your leg and other important things I like to put mine to where I feel that barrel right in that crest. So I've got leg movement. I can bend over. Boom, we're good to go. Now, if I'm wearing a normal t-shirt, this works perfectly, even though I'm a skinny dude. So where's the gun? You see my gut a little bit? If I put pressure on my shirt, yeah, you'll see a bulge. Typically, if I'm carrying like this, I got a nice, loose, comfortable shirt on. I will pull this up nice and high and the gun is gone i just did a long hike in a national park with this on nice and comfortable moving around in the summer no issues i've seen the debates between skinny guys and big guys 
ladies, and a lot of people are arguing over which body type this kind of carry is good for. Well, you know what? Any body type can figure it out. You can always find a way to do it. What I noticed as a guy, I can't wear low rise blue jeans and carry this way, especially if I'm getting into a vehicle or sitting at all. If I'm wearing jeans, I need to wear regular or high rise jeans, the old school blue jeans, so that the belt sits up here. So when I go to sit, I've got room to sit. So guys, just keep that in mind. The stylish low rise jeans a lot of people are wearing, that might be your problem. So of course, coming from the army world, we do have the drop holsters and those have kind of gone out of style. I have one and they're still pretty cool. I could see where they have their place, but typically speaking in a regular civilian setting, you're not gonna be wearing a drop leg on you. And then of course, if you got plate carriers, you can always throw a holster right up here. But we are talking about us regular people these days. So this is your last option. And this I found because of some ladies wanting to concealed carry in leggings or when they're going out for a run. And I was asked to figure out a system. Well, they have a system, guys. This is called Bravo Belt. Your gun goes right in there. It fits multiple types of guns. You get many different sizes, colors, shapes, all kinds of stuff. You can get different heights and widths of the belt. And you can fit multiple magazines on there. You can remove the pouches. Very cool stuff. Here is a video linked above if you guys want to learn more about this system, especially you ladies wearing your leggings and everything, or just people. Let's say you're going out to do some sprints or a long distance run, and you don't want to run around looking like Rambo in this stuff. Go check that out. That's it, guys. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. And until the next video, I'll see you guys in the outdoors. Prepared Lives Matter.